English Language Academy. Practice makes perfect. Listen and practice. Help. Did you ever have to call for help? Were you ever in a situation that was an emergency? It is good to know what to do in case of an emergency. You should always know how to get in touch with the police and fire departments. I have read stories where very young boys or girls have called the police and saved their friends or family members' lives because they knew just who to get a hold of. If you see a fire, you should call the fire department. A lot of tragedies have been prevented because the calls have been made quickly. It is important that emergency vehicles arrive very quickly. That is why those vehicles have sirens. When their sirens go, it means to get out of the way. Policemen, firemen, and ambulance attendants are trained to handle very difficult situations. They often save people's lives. They go through a lot of training to become good at what they do. They never panic in emergencies. For your part, you should keep emergency numbers near the phone or know what the emergency numbers are. Where I live, there is a special number that you call for any emergency. We teach that number to everyone, even very tiny children. It is important to remain calm if you need help. If you call an emergency number, you have to be able to speak clearly and tell the person you are talking to exactly what the problem is. I hope you are never in an emergency situation, but it is a good idea to be prepared. Listen and practice. I know it's time for decisions, but I'm not very good at making decisions. I always worry that I might not make the right choice. I might go to college next year, but I'm not sure. I might wait a year and travel around Asia for a while. After college, I might become a teacher. I might not make much. But I like working with kids, and money isn't everything. Someone told me there are lots of jobs teaching English abroad, so I might take a few courses in that. Then I could teach and travel. Who knows? I might meet a nice girl too. That would be great. Listen and practice. My friend and I had a problem with our vacation last year. I wanted to have a lazy vacation at the beach because I was tired and needed to relax. I love lying in the sun and reading a good book. But Natalie likes busy cultural vacations. She likes visiting museums and galleries. She hates sunbathing because she always gets a sunburn, not a tan. The travel agent tried to help us and suggested Greece. I said I'd love to sail to a quiet island, but of course Natalie said she'd like to stay in Athens. It was easy deciding what to do. We flew to Athens together. Natalie stayed there, and I traveled to the island of Kos. Listen and practice. Recording music. Today, there's music everywhere. People listen to music at home or in their car. With an MP3 player, 
they can listen to their favorite songs when they are on a train or walking in the streets. Where does a song come from? First, a songwriter writes a song, and musicians play it. They practice, then they play the song in a recording studio, in front of a microphone. In the studio, a sound engineer. Uses recording equipment and records the song. Now, the song is a lot of digital signals. The sound engineer uses a computer and works with the signals. This makes the sound of the song better. Listen and practice. Fish. There are many different fish farms. Farmers keep fish in lakes, in tanks, or in big nets in the ocean. On fish farms. Some fish eat food made from other small fish. Some fish eat plants. Farmers feed the fish so they grow big. When fish are big, farmers can sell them. Farmers sell fish fast, so they are good to eat. Lots of salmon come from fish farms. Farmers keep baby salmon in tanks. When the salmon are one year old, farmers put them in nets in the ocean. Farmers catch the salmon and sell them when they are two or three years old. Listen and practice. Erosion. Where are these rocks? Are they on the moon? No, they are in Cappadocia, in Turkey. They look like sculptures, but no one made them. Really, the windy weather made them. These rocks are not very hard. The wind blows on them, and very slowly changes them. When the weather changes Earth in this way, we call it erosion. In the Colorado River in the USA, erosion began about twenty million years ago. The river moved over the rock and slowly broke it. Sun. Cold weather and wind broke the rock too. All these things made the incredible deep valley called the Grand Canyon. Wind, rain, sun, and snow. The weather is a part of Earth's story. Sun and wind make deserts. Glaciers move between mountains. And make valleys. Rain falls on limestone and makes caves. This story began millions of years ago, and it is still going on. What an incredible story it is! Listen and practice. Tunnels. Tunnels go underwater, underground, or through the ground. 
We use tunnels for mines, trains, and road traffic, or to carry things like gas or water. Tunnels are usually made of metal and concrete. One of the longest tunnels in the world is the Seikan Tunnel in Japan. It's nearly 54 kilometers long. It goes between two islands. It was built because it's too dangerous to travel by boat. The tunnel is for trains, but now many people prefer to travel by plane. One of the longest road tunnels is the Lerdal Tunnel in Norway. The tunnel is nearly 25 kilometers long, and it goes through a mountain. It was built because there's too much snow on the mountain roads in winter. In the tunnel, there are three big caves where drivers can stop and rest. Listen and practice. A structure is something made with many parts, like a house, a school, or a bridge. It can be made of different materials like bricks, concrete, glass, wood, or metal. Did you know that people also build structures under the ocean and on ice? The Poseidon Undersea Resort in Fiji is a hotel 12 meters under the ocean. It's made of very strong metal and plastic. The windows are made of special clear plastic, so people can see fish and other ocean animals from the hotel. To get to the hotel, you travel by submarine. Listen and practice. Man made islands. Some parts of the world are very busy, and there isn't enough land for everyone. That's why people sometimes build new islands for farms, homes, stores, and airports. Sometimes people build cities on man made islands. Odaiba Island is in Tokyo Bay in Japan. It was built about 150 years ago so that people could stop unfriendly ships coming to Tokyo. From about 1990, people built stores, restaurants, parks, and apartments on Odaiba Island. Today, Odaiba Island is a busy part of Tokyo City. Listen and practice. Laura lives in a big city. If she lived in the country, she would have a dog. Laura shares an apartment with three other women, but if it were possible, she would live on her own. If she lived in the country, she would buy a small house and she would grow her own flowers and vegetables. In the city, she travels by subway and goes shopping in big department stores, but she doesn't like this at all. If she were in the country, she would ride her bike and she would buy things in small stores. She loves walking and often goes for a walk in the city, but the streets are noisy. In the country, she would walk across the fields with her dog. <laughs>